For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this uh, quick little problem that tells you determine the reactions at the supports uh, A and B. Now, as you can see, you have a distributed load and you have a B that is anchored. So B is going to have a reaction going up. Let's call it BY. And A is not anchored, so it can only have a reaction going this way, A. And you know that this angle right here is 90 degrees, that's important. And since this A is going towards the right, remember A is going up and towards the right, it is pretty obvious that BX is going to go towards the left, right? So let's concentrate on A first. You got to look at this triangle. If you have a triangle right here, right, and I tell you this is 4, this is 3, and this is 5, and you have a force going at 90 degrees, then this force gonna keep going, is going to keep going up. But if you wanted to find this angle right here, that's pretty easy to do. All you got to do is redraw this triangle and just flip the 3 with the 4. So the 3 will go here, and the 4 will go here, and the 5 will go here. So that is basically the triangle. Let me erase the A and put the A somewhere else. Let me put the A right here. So this is going to be basically our new triangle. This is 3, and this is 4, and this is 5. And that's just simple common sense. So that's a trick. Just flip the triangle, and you have the little 90 degree angle of A. Now that you do, you got to replace these uh, distributed loads with equivalent forces. So you have this uh, 400 Newton per meter uh, force. So let me erase it. And I'm going to replace it with two forces. Because we got two triangles. We got a force going right here and a force going right here. And you know that the equivalent forces are located at one third the length of the triangle from the tall edge of 400 newtons per meter. And let's call these forces, since they're both the same, let's just call them F, not F1, just F. Now if you wanted to find the magnitude of F, all you got to do is calculate the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is given by the length times the height. The length is 3, the height is 400 newtons per meter. And divided by 2 because the area of a triangle is calculated by length and side divided by 2. And that comes out to be 600 newtons. And now it's all about just uh, solving for the forces. So you know that the sum, the sum of the moments at B is equal to 0. Let's assume counterclockwise is positive. So you got from B. This lever arm, which has a length of 2, so it's F times 2, and it's turning this lever arm counterclockwise, so it's positive. How do I know this is 2? Because the triangle is 3 meters long, and F is located one third from the long edge, which is 1 meter, so that's 2 meters. Then you got plus again, the second F is turning this lever arm also counterclockwise which means that it's F times 4. And then we have this last lever arm, and you know that this A has a component going up and a component going towards the right, an X component and a Y component. You know that the only one creating a moment is AY because AX is aiming directly at B. So AY and is actually uh, turning it Uh, clockwise, so it's negative. A y. Now the the y component of of a is simply given by a times four over five because of this triangle right here. Four divided by five times we got a, a delivery arm that is turning, which is six meters long, and it's equal to zero. So we already have f. You can replace them. We got uh, F is equal to 600. So all you got to do is solve for A. 
and you get that A is equal to 750 newtons. Now we need to solve for the BY and BX components, and that is simple to do too. You know that the sum of the moments at A is equal to zero. Let's assume clockwise is positive. So we got the from A, from right here, we got the moment created by this F, the moment created by this F, and the moment created by BY. No moment is created by BX because it's aiming directly at A. So the first F creates a moment of F times the distance, which is 2. Same thing that we did backwards, we do from A now. Plus the second F times 4, because that's the distance, that's 2, and that's 4. Minus BY is actually turning this whole thing uh, counterclockwise, so it's uh, negative. BY times the distance of the whole assembly, which is 6, and that is equal to 0. So again, we have F already, which is replacing, but we solve for BY, and you get that BY is equal to 600 newtons. And then finding VX is very easy, because you know that the sum all the forces in the x is equal to zero in statics. We have the x component of a. The x component of a is given by a times the triangle that we redrew at the beginning of the exercise, which is three times uh, three over five. And you got that going to the right, so that's this component right here. And you got b x going to the left minus b x. There's no other forces in the uh, parallel to the x, so all of that is equal to zero. And we got A already, we found it at the beginning of the exercise to be 750. So you replace A and then you solve for BX and you get that BX is equal to 450 newtons. Final answer for BX, final answer for BY and final answer for A. Sorry, I got a little messy on the screen. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.